All right, good morning, YouTube. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. It's uh, Saturday, November 5th. Excuse me. Sunday, November 5th, 2023. We're going to go over um, some trades from last week, one of my sessions. Um, I think it was 11 2, so November 2nd, whatever day that was. I think that might have been Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday. So. We had a couple good trades, some good trading inside of the, an accumulation zone, which I, I becoming more and more uh, excited about, we'll say. Whereas back, you know, through the previous years and the beginning of the career, you're always taught stay away from the chop, stay out of these areas. When 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 in reality, they send, tend to to provide some of the best uh, risk to reward setups quality setups if you're just looking to get your little 10 15 ticks so we're going to go ahead and hop right into it here uh, turn that up. all right so trade one was the uh double enigma right up here so we enter short the accumulation zone really hasn't formed yet in the in this tight one that's about to start forming so uh we're just gonna take it on the fact that it's a it's a, a double enigma <clears throat> and price comes up to it okay so there's a nice alpha cross delta flush so now I'm saying shit maybe we are gonna go up and I actually flip to the moonshot right there as you see the blue alpha cross in the green enigma right there with the big delta flag here and buyers on the tape has me um, wanting to go long also let me pause real quick. if you look up over here there was a, a larger accumulation zone that we drew out uh, from the overnight session. So that was another thing in the back of my mind thinking, okay, maybe we're going to clear this little profile here and rotate back up there back to it. Let's see. I'm still here in buyers. Now I put my first target right here because as I'm seeing like this accumulation possibly forming right here. And then we got a red enigma now. It's got me a little bit more uh, concerned. And it's a really see all these see all these white lines. This is all from crosses right there, which tells me we could could be uh, we're definitely accumulating. We know that, um, but I don't want to get stuck trapped on either side. So I'm, I'm really just looking to get out of this trade right now because my original thought process for getting in is kind of invalid at this point. So the next time price makes its way up to the top of this little area, I'm getting out. And there we go. I'll move on to the next trade. Still wasn't a bad trade. Still, we still got something out of it. All right. So trade two. Now I took a few trades in this accumulation zone, and I counted all as trade two. So here's the first one. We got the red one at the edge of this accumulation zone. This turned out to be really good. I think we were waiting for news to come out at like 10 or something. So sometimes you can get get some of these really good good zones like that. So we were able to get that. Price came down. We went long at the bottom of the zone. And we get stopped out quick, quick, but we did a true try when we re-entered. And that one was uh, successful. But now we didn't, I could've, should've, would've held it up to the top of the accumulation zone. And that's again, that's one of my things I'm really, really get, getting better at. Um, it's holding these trades till they come to fruition but I heard some buyers and I kind of bitched out all right one more time again up here we had a DC DCDM which is now a double cross reversal DCR at the top of the accumulation zone we are going short <clears throat> I'm gonna add to the position feeling real confident right here um, targets were filled and I counted this, and then look, we came all the way down, and I could have re-entered on this double red enigma too. Like, I mean, what a savage that would have been, I've been able to get the whole up, down, up, down, up, down, but just the fact that I seen it come down, watched it come back up, and I'm gonna re-enter again for another drop on this accumulation zone. Um, this one ended up being really good. So this one, I, I pretty much was able to hold down to the next edge of the zone. So you see how, how powerful these accumulation zones can be. And um, they're quickly becoming my favorite areas to trade. 
All right, trade number three is a power headshot. It's, it's going to be on the Mac V over here. So we enter in, and I'm pretty sure this was losing. I also was thinking, like, maybe I'm seeing a one tick wonder here, but I mean, that, that's a little hopeful thinking on such a small time frame. Uh, this put really wasn't the best setup because we broke out of this accumulation zone up here, it looked like. And we also had this J-hook we could have been completing. So I, I think I kind of jumped in on this just because I saw the green power dot with the the blue alpha. And then I get stopped out. It's all right. Game with them all. So that was trade three. Uh, trade four is another double enigma. So right here now we've dropped quite a bit. And um, I'm just looking for a little T1, T2 here. I think the timing was about 10.30. So I'm looking for that big reversal about this time. Also, if you notice, there's this, this, this little, when I see this, this little pattern here, and it's, it's like a little tiny trap. It's like price comes down, there's this little tight thing, and then you'll get that one little drop. Boom, and then you get that straight leg out. That's And it works on, on the higher time frames too, I've noticed. Whenever I get that one little mm, out. Now, I think there's a name for that. I can't think it off the top of my head, but... I'm sure Vinny has a name for that already. <clears throat> Alright, so that was trade four. This is trade five. We had an enigma continuing pretty much off that double enigma. And again, you see all these white lines, and these were the crosses, these little retail trying to get short down here. Um, they saw a price coming down, they continue to come down, and you can see they're all trapped down here, and the enigma's called that. So from here, we should be seeing a nice move. <clears throat> but anything can happen and I think actually I get stopped out real quick but I did the two try it's just because I'm, I'm hearing buyers and, and, and rightfully so my stops should have been behind the enigmas anyways so <clears throat> it is what it is I'd rather re-enter though then I find that what I was doing was moving the stops too big and get stopped out and it ends up not even going in my favor I'd rather take the small loss wait for validation there it is two try rule um we hit targets pretty fast so we're gonna go ahead and re-enter again just because i'm liking this trade so much so yeah wait for the for the validation that it is the right move and then re-enter uh, which this is definitely showing all signs a go <clears throat> And I, and I, I again, like I should have just, I should have, could have, would have. And these, this is why it's so great to go back and watch your trades, because you see where you could have done so much better um, on some of these trades. Man, I killed them way too early. Like there's no, nothing here telling me to close this trade right yet. Um, it's taking a little longer than I would like for it to take off, but it's still not invalidated yet. Mac V is is turning upwards. We're above the ropes on the 89. We have a big power dot on the wave. All right, there it goes. We have a delta flag, and I should have just held that instead. I closed it like a little B. And the, this is a quick trade. Headshot right here. Boom. Done. All right. So that's the five trades and a bonus. And then we have the stats. Yeah, I don't even. I trying to read this on a voice over here. And I don't even think I can read them now. So let me pause that. They were good. <laughs> right? I think it was like 80%. I think I'm seeing 80% success. Uh, profit factor was like four. It was over a thousand. So it was a good, good day all in all. It might have been. Yeah, it was definitely over a thousand. My eyes are failing me right now, but it was a good day. Max drawdown was only like a few hundred bucks, and that's one of my big things. Um, I need to start. Don't want to be taking so much heat, putting your account at risk. And then also, what that does is when you see too much red, and then psychologically, it's not good. So it's just best to take those small losses. Um, so that's that. 
Hopefully you guys got a little something from the video. I do appreciate it. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and join the Algobox Discord room. That's absolutely free. I'll put the link in the description of the video. Until um, next time, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care.